Hey guys, building an amplifier today. Haven't built one in quite a while. And the Snicker the Prowler is coming across the bench. It's based on the TDA 2003. Very popular chip. But it has a sad story. Let me tell you about it. Well, back in the 70s, they wanted a amplifier IC to use in car stereos. And Snickers is going after a bug. Anyway, they uh, they wanted a easy to use amplifier. Didn't have a lot of external components. Uh, good performance, fully protected. You know, short circuit, thermal protection, all that good stuff. Reverse polarity, even, and you know, high voltage protection on the power supply. Because, you know, the electrical system in cars can be spiky and noisy sometimes. So, uh, Bruno Marari, who is a whiz at designing analog ICs, you know, came up with the TDA 2002 back in the mid-70s. I don't know the exact time, but 75, 76 maybe, I don't know. And here is an example of this is NEC's version of the 2002. You can buy them at Radio Shack back in the early 80s, I remember. Bought a few of them. Well, you know, that was a popular chip, and other companies came out with their versions. So uh, SGS said, hey, uh, let's improve this. So they came up with a... TDA 2003, it's really the same amplifier. However, it has a little bit better output swing, meaning it'll put a little bit more output power into a load. So that's really the main difference. Well, what happened to the TDA 2003 and a whole bunch of, you know, now they're called ST microelectronics. This is my old... Um, book here audio products audio and radio products from 1987 just a whole bunch of data sheets well uh, what happened is um, see this is uh, at this time this chip was already obsolete not for new design this one was in production anyhow last summer ST Microelectronics is what they're called now. They uh, they went through about half of their audio power amplifier ICs, the linear ones, and gave them the axe. So the ubiquitous 2003 got the axe. Um, the very popular 5-pin ICs like the uh, TDA 2030, 2030A, 2040, and 2050 also gone. Well, that's unfortunate. I really like the TDA 2050 as a 20-watt uh, hi-fi amplifier chip to make little amplifiers and things with. But it got the axe. Well, fortunately, we still have the LM1875 made by uh, a National Semiconductor, who is now, um, you know, now it's uh, Texas Instruments. But hopefully... They keep the LM1875 around because just nice little chips. So, yeah. So this is probably the last TDA 2003 pro um, project I'll make. I haven't made one for, I don't know, 15 years. I made an amplifier way back when. It's probably in my drawer here. Well, maybe not. A bunch of amplifiers in here, but... Ah, I feel something back here. Ah, here it is. I made this a long time ago. TDA 2003. Radio Shack box. Project case. So that's that.
Well, to get moving on this video, I started laying out. I was going to put this on the perf board. And now I have uh, the components just stuck in there, you know. It's just temporary. I got to figure out how to run the grounds and everything. Very important to keep your power ground separated from the signal grounds. And you get the power, the output. Those need to be separated from the feedback and the input grounds to avoid any problems. You know, extra distortion. So I gotta get all the components put in, you know, make sure I have room on the board. It looks like I'm gonna be just fine with that. So I'll just uh there's not much to see here. Um so I'll just put all this together and come back. See what the thing sounds like. Okay, got the board all assembled here. Wired up. Not too shitty. It's not drawing any unnecessarily high quiescent current, so that's good. 15.2 volts power supply right now. Got it hooked up to my portable boombox speaker. And a quick little sample. Okay, well, it's passing the listening test. Sounds pretty good. Don't hear any distortion or anything. So now it's time to make a box for it. Okay, I got it put into its case. I went with these type of connectors, these eighth inch type connectors. Because I didn't want to monkey with spring terminals or anything. I just wanted to be able to plug it right in and go. I have a stereo input, goes to my music player, left and right outputs, level control, and over here on the side is the power input. I have a little fuse in there. These have built-in um, diodes in them, so if they're connected backwards, they'll short out. So if you have a fuse in there, it'll blow out the fuse instead of cause damage and a little power LED and this looks black but well when I tear off the uh, the paper you'll see that the light can shine right through that and I'll uh, put it on here in a little bit okay here it is completely finished I have a kind of a smoked black top on there so you can looks black but you can see down inside if you shine a light on it like that and that's a wrap on this project thanks for watching mm -hmm.